yes so hello everyone um so this video is actually uh, for memory senior uh she's from danigo secondary and she actually sent a couple questions that she wanted help on and those are the questions that we're going to be looking at today so with the first question here outline the stages involved in the extraction of nitrogen from liquid air so this is the liquefaction and uh, fractional distillation of uh, of air so what we're going to do here uh, we're going to trap the air so air is trapped and dust impurities are removed from the air so that's the first stage we're going to remove dust impurities from the air and then the air is then cooled in stages now this is going to happen in stages until the temperature is at about minus 200 degrees celsius we're cooling the air by compressing it and allowing it to expand and we compress it and we allow it to expand until the temperature reaches uh, this uh, minus 200 degrees Celsius now at this stage all the air is now liquid and we now have liquid nitrogen and oxygen so since the question uh, is actually focusing on nitrogen we want to concentrate on the points that are going to talk about nitrogen we don't want to talk about um, I mean you don't want to write those points like uh, water and carbon dioxide are removed from the uh, at minus 78 degrees Celsius because they would block the system you don't want to write all those points because the question here is actually uh, directed to nitrogen so the liquid nitrogen and oxygen are then separated by fractional distillation so this is the fractionating column here this is a model diagram here you see we slightly hit the mixture and so here the liquefied air is getting into the into the column and then we, uh, we, we, we slightly heat. Uh, upon slightly heating, you see that nitrogen, it boils off at minus, this is supposed to be a negative here, sorry about that one, supposed to be a negative 190 degrees Celsius, it's going to boil off at that, um, at that temperature. And then we see now oxygen, oxygen is now, um, is now tapped off, it is actually tapped off as a liquid. Uh, it's different from nitrogen. Nitrogen is actually uh, is, it, it actually boils off the system, but oxygen, oxygen it is tapped off as a liquid. So this is how you would answer this question here. You uh, the air is trapped, dust impurities are removed, and then we have the cooling stages which are repeated uh, up until the temperature is minus 200 degrees Celsius, and then you have the liquid uh, nitrogen and oxygen uh, being taken to the fractional distillating column. Uh, for further separation there let's look at the other questions she sent um, saying as oxygen can be obtained from electrolysis of acidified water yes that's true we can actually obtain oxygen uh, from electrolysis of acidified water now they want us to name the acid used to acidify the water so we're going to acidify the water using sulfuric acid as H2SO4 that's the acid that we're going to use so now they're asking why explain why water is actually acidified so we acidify the water so that we ionize the water because you notice that pure water does not conduct electricity so we want to ionize the water so that it is able to conduct electricity providing some ions or uh, putting in some ions into the water so that it actually conducts electricity Right, so they want us to explain why oxygen, uh, the volume of oxygen obtained is half that of hydrogen. So, when answering this question, think of the formula. The chemical formula of water is actually H2O. So, it means that for every two hydrogens that you have, you have one oxygen. So, that's for every two hydrogen atoms that we're going to obtain uh, from the electrolysis, um, from the separation process rather, uh, you're going to get one oxygen. So for every two hydrogen, you get one oxygen atom. That's how you answer that question. And now the, I want us to um, uh, state one use of oxygen. So uh, uses of oxygen can range from uh, medicinal use, where it is used to help uh, patients with uh, breathing difficulties. We can also use uh, oxygen in, in, in the welding process. Okay, so that's it for this video and uh, thanks for watching. And this video, again, uh, it's for Memory Senior from Danico Secondary. And if you feel like you have any, any other uh, questions that you have, uh, guys out there, please send them through and 
will definitely help you with those. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.